Welcome to Tower Talk Business Radio on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC. Tower Talk Business Radio brings you conversations with the top business minds on Long Island and around the nation, including expert consultants and small business owners who have found success but are also willing to share their top tips, failures, and give gritty, matter-of-fact advice based on their first-hand experience. And now, let's get down to business with Tower Talk Business Radio, powered by the Nassau Community College Foundation. Hello, and welcome to Tower Talk Business Radio, powered by the Nassau Community College Foundation. My name is Ray Schwetz, AVP of Nephew Business Services, along with Denisha Boston Hill, CEO Keeper of the brand Marketing and Digital Agency. And we're focused on being the premier resource for business and entrepreneurship. Ray and I bring you weekly business advice, tips, tools, and services that help you grow your business. Plus, we interview top business leaders in the industry. It's time for Success Chat. According to Larry Page, co-founder of Google, always over deliver more and deliver more than what's expected. Any great business mind over delivers in marketing and advertising. We deliver added value to all of our customers in real estate development. It makes it may be upgrades or on your home. But Ray, besides interest, what type of added value can small businesses small businesses secure from financial institutions um well well here's the thing um besides interest well i'm always realistic in what i communicate to uh the people that i'm working with and the people i'm trying to help i always uh am realistic about what i expect the outcome to be the time frame so on and so forth some people say under promise and over deliver um i just say be realistic about what you're promising communicate that and strive for the wow strive for something better than that um, i'm all about the wow right i'm all about, all about the wow, the wow. <laughs> so and and we have somebody here who's all about the wow um helping provide us with business empowerment today is our guest walter odin managing director of odin development um he works with uh home retailers his primary focus is economic development real estate markets and government contracting cons- consultation walter has worked as the head of the united states small business administration in new york and he has extensive knowledge on business counseling access to capital succession planning and government contracting he is committed to helping businesses succeed in all areas of small business development such as cash flow growth organizational effectiveness and he lives by the motto service is the price one pays for the space they occupy i think that's pretty fantastic (laughs) walter odin welcome today thank you thank you it is a pleasure to be here excellent so tell us a little bit about yourself i am a i was a closet entrepreneur for about 25 years and then i broke out of the closet busted out and have been having so much fun I mean, from the time of being in the pharmaceutical business to going through the television industry and growing up in that industry and now managing my own real estate development fund and consulting company, I I, I can't tell you how happy I am to be in this place. Now, how did you make that transition from pharmaceuticals to film to now real estate? You know, it's interesting. So I was a pharmacy pre-med major in college. I went and, and worked for the premier pharmaceutical company in the country at the time, which was Merck Pharmaceuticals. And I was miserable. I, I literally hated going to work every day. And I wanted to be in the television business. I did stunts for the movie industry as a young man. And in fact, a couple of movies we did up here in New York that folks would be familiar with would be Malcolm X uh, under Spike Lee's guidance and New York Undercover was a television show. So I knew the talent side of the business, but my, as my mother said, I didn't have the sense God gave me because I was willing to jump out of someone's building uh, for money. So <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, I wanted to get on the business side of, of television, and I went through a fellowship program into the industry. The industry was is nascent at the time, trying to figure out how to get management into uh, the cable space. And, you know, w- cable was born out of the mountains of, of Pennsylvania and New York. So if you think about that, there wasn't a lot of sophistication early on. It, it's not the Comcast and uh, cable visions that you see today. So they were looking for talent. I was looking for an opportunity, and it was a, a match made in heaven for me. Now, a little birdie told me you have some type of connection to Burt Reynolds. Share that with our <laughs> listeners. <laughs> so as, as I said, I, I, was, I did stunts for the movie <clears throat> industry, and I, I got to tell you, I love Burt Reynolds. He is a phenomenal talent. Um, I watched all of his movies growing up, and it was his movie, BL, one of his shows, B.L. Striker, 
uh, that he, he Taft Hartley us. So in, in order to get in the union, you have to go through the Taft Hartley process. And Burt Reynolds, Taft Hartley, my brother and I, and, and we did stunts for, you know, 10, 15 years. That's pretty funny. And, uh, you know, I, I had the um, honor of meeting Hal Needham uh, when he was at the Cinema Arts Center in Huntington a few years back. And he talked a, little, uh, a lot about his work with Burt Reynolds. And Burt was uh, definitely an advocate. Absolutely. You know, for the, for the stunt people. So how did you, how did you go from, from that world, mm-hmm. uh, into the world you're in now? Like, what's the common thread here? So, uh, the common thread is a person who's willing to be flexible and nimble. So, you know, I started out in pharmaceuticals, was not happy. I was not scared to take a, take an opportunity and jump into the television business. Uh, from the television business, I mean, it, it was happenstance, but I got laid off at MTV. That was my last job. And, and when I got laid off, I said, you know, that'll never happen to me again. I ended up going to work for the Obama administration. And that's when I came over to the SBA, managed Long Island, managed New York, managed government contracting. And from there, said, you know, if what I really wanted to do, and I, and I had built so many businesses. So if you think about at A&E and the History Channel, I built Biography and History International. I built Video On Demand. What we take for granted is Video On Demand today. I was one of the first people in the country to do that, Comedy Central and A&E. If you were watching a movie, we'd put the biography. So you're watching Silence of the Lambs, we put the biography of Anthony Hopkins on. Um, so from that, always being a closet entrepreneur within a corporate structure, I said that I could, if I could do it for them, I could do it for myself. Really cool. And you're doing it, which is fantastic. So out here on Long Island, you went from the SBA, and now you have Odin Development. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to us a little bit about the projects that you're working on in Nassau County and Suffolk County? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you. I I got lucky. I had a uh, – when I was at the SBA, I met a – for me, I've always wanted to give as much information to folks, and I always want to listen. And I I met a young man who had a construction company, and he was – working on a project under the governor's office of storm recovery. And he said, Walter, you know, what what they're missing is modular housing in this space and manufactured housing. So manufactured housing would be mobile, what we used to know as mobile homes. Those homes are built in factories, mostly in Pennsylvania. Well, they're really built around the country, but mostly in Pennsylvania for, for the New York market. And that same factory builds modular to go on a foundation. So you're going on a trailer or you're going on a foundation. It's typically the same house, better upgrades in one than the other. But that was the opportunity that I saw. I went literally studied uh, the the modular industry, took a test to be a um, certified mobile home dealer. So I'm, I have a certification as a certified mobile home dealer and started and, and applied for that program under RFP. We we won the RFP and we've been we've built eight houses in the past four months uh, out on the Puspatuck Indian Reservation. We're building others out in Suffolk. Now that I, I I I have that as a foundation, we're also talking to the Marriott Corporation about because Champion Homes is who I build with. They're building for Marriott around the country. So I just flew down to Chapel Hill to look at a AC hotel, which is their boutique brand. So we're looking at building uh, Marriotts, and Marriott has distinct areas within the New York region and around the country that they want particular properties. So that's the, that's part of what we're doing. And then the other thing, we're in Brooklyn building with shipping containers. So for me, it's about being innovative. Uh, be, I think that's part of that television uh, uh, legacy for me. We want to be innovative. We want to be cutting edge. But we also want to, you know, in terms of affordability, make houses that don't necessarily need to uh, be dependent on the grid. So geothermal, solar. We're going to combine all of that together to make these energy efficient homes and apartments. So. That, that's very creative and very innovative. You are listening to NASA. You are listening to Tower Talk Business Radio on the voice of NASA Community College 90.3 WHPC. I'm Ray Schwetz along with Anisha Boston Hill and our guest today is Walter Odin, Managing Director of Odin Development. Creativity, it's definitely, uh, it runs through your veins and I can tell and innovation, I mean that's something that's here in Long Island so you're in the right spot. Uh, what's the most rewarding job that you've been involved with, with in? Wow, that's hard. I, you know, um, I, I got to tell you, every every job I've had, every experience I've had has been phenomenal. I mean, working with Burt Reynolds, working with Spike Lee on on movie sets, um, going to the taking customers to the VMA awards or the BET awards when I was at MTV and Viacom to. Um, I'll tell you one cool one, and Jay-Z just came out with a new uh, album this week, 444, but having Jay-Z at the Brooklyn Navy Yards and bussing in thousands of kids from New York City who had done well in school and this was their reward, 
to see Jay Z. He did a private concert for them. I mean, that's there have been a lot of cool experiences. And and having lived through two hurricanes, I will tell you that on the Puspatuck Indian Reservation, um, being able to build homes for folks who are at the lower end of the spectrum in terms of socioeconomic uh, power, it has been a pleasure to to watch people walk into their homes after I've delivered them and just watch their eyes as they see their new environment and their new home. That's that's probably the best. Yeah, I, I can only imagine what that must feel like. No, absolutely. So now, talk to us a little bit about, you said you built eight homes on the Puspatuck Reservation. You know, you're changing lives. You know, when you decide to work with a client or a client decides to work with you, you know, what goes into that process and what does what does a client do to say Odin development versus the competition that's out there? So what's interesting is is I think the most important part of the process is listening to understand um, a lot of sales people will sell, will talk. And, and I don't care whether it's pharmaceuticals, television, development, but the ability to listen. So I'll give you a couple of for instances. You, when you talked in your opening, you talked about providing um, special accoutrements in a home. I listen to customers talk, and you know, if a customer says for whatever we, reason they have a medical condition, if they didn't have AC as part of their package, when they walk into their home as a surprise, I have AC in it for them. I love or that. <laughs> I had two, 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 uh, a couple that was getting married, and the, and I was listening. I don't even know that they realized I was listening, but she hated doing dishes. So when she walked into her home, there was a dishwasher. So each home, I find something special that I can deliver to that customer. Well, that's certainly a wow factor. <laughs> exactly. That's the added value that you're not expecting. So... I'm a big movie buff. I got to ask you a question. Go sure. for it. So, um, you know, you work with Burt Reynolds, who's definitely a movie star I admire quite a bit. Uh, do you have any great Burt Reynolds stories? So I'm from a little town in Florida. I grew up in Miami, Florida, but I'm mm-hmm. from a little town called Stewart, Florida. Burt Reynolds Ranch is in Jupiter, which is where Tiger Woods lives. So people know Jupiter for Tiger Woods, right? But Burt Reynolds has been living there for 40, 50 years. Um, filming on Burt Reynolds Ranch and, you know, after he taffed Hartley, my brother and I, we, we took a, a sheet cake as, as large as this, uh, this table. And, you know, we're, we're at a table that's six feet long, three feet wide uh, to feed the whole crew, cast and crew. And I don't think that in, you know, there's always craft service. But for a, a young kid who was, you know, 16, 17 at the time to come back and provide that uh, kind of thank you to the whole cast and crew. And it was out of my brother's and I, my, my budget. Um, that was a joy. And Bert came and we took pictures and, you know, it was it was a, a, a big to do. And it was our way to say just thank you. You know, who do you buy somebody? What, what do you buy someone who has everything? Food. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I was going to say, yeah, food, you know, <laughs> food is always good. But so now, you know, you said you lived through a hurricane in, in mm-hmm. Florida, and, mm-hmm. and we know that that's like for Hurricane Central. So mm-hmm. to come to New York now and have Odin development and, and really change the lives of people who lived through Hurricane Sandy more than five years ago, um, what are you seeing that, you know, that's still out there, the need? How are you making a difference? You know, what's interesting is I, I lived through Hurricane Andrew 1992. Um, that was the most devastating for my family because we lost, uh, uh, we had to rebuild our home as a part of that process. Um, I rebuilt, as part of MTV, we took 80 people down to New Orleans five years after Hurricane Katrina, built with Habitat for Humanity. In fact, President Carter was building two houses over from us, um, which was a phenomenal experience. But that was five years after the storm, and it, it looked like no one had even built anything. I will tell you that there's still 3,500 homeowners in the New York area, at least, who are, are still outside of their homes. So that we still have a lot of rebuilding to do. And that's just homes. We also have infrastructure. So the opportunity to add what little part, you know, eight homes out of 3,500 or, or 100,000 is not a lot. But to add whatever value we can to the process and build a quality product for the customer um, has just been a, a, a great experience for me. You are listening to Tower Talk Business Radio. Our guest today is Walter Oden, Managing Director of Oden Development. My name is Danisha Boston-Hill, along with Ray Schwetz on The Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. It's Thursday night, and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Started off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool, 